Thank you for joining us for this next instalment of our January content campaign. It is a collaboration with our friends and partners at Lendlord and we've been calling it Landlord Digital Lives and it's all about encouraging landlords to adopt uh, digital technology uh, and there are so many benefits to that and we've actually been hearing of all of those different benefits over the past uh, uh, installments of the campaign. Um, so we're about halfway through the month now and I thought it would be a good time to catch up um, with uh, Lendlord co-founder and CEO Avaram Shaha because Avaram, um, it's, it's been an absolutely fantastic month so far and we've had so many insights um, from landlords, from industry commentators and also from other uh, prop tech companies who are actually really helping solve problems um, that have arisen due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, yes, definitely. It's great to see, uh, first, you know, so many landlords uh, that starting to embrace technology, adopt technology, uh, moving digital. Um, we see it in landlord and we see it through, through this month. And also like the, the trend of uh, more companies to innovate and come up with uh, solutions, um, technological solutions uh, for landlords. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw so far uh, some of them uh, on the installments uh, with great um, uh, platforms that can help uh, the landlord in many aspects. And of course, it's uh, aligned with our vision uh, at Landlord um, just to make uh, the lives of landlords easier uh, using technology. Absolutely, and we have been hearing about how COVID-19, um, all the challenging conditions around it, have accelerated the uptake of digital products and services. And it's, you know, it was a, a very slow, gradual trend, but it's been massively uh, accelerated by, by COVID. And we've seen things like, um, you know, digital viewings and uh, digital key access, all these kind of tools that are helping uh, the whole sector carry on working and in, indeed we are lucky that the property market has remained open during this third lockdown but even today there is some indication that it may be shut uh, in in the next few days or weeks or so so um you know it's still a great time uh for landlords to think about uh digital solutions yes there are times that you need to think out of the box and i think that the covid uh basically force the situation on everyone. Mm -hmm. Like there, there is no uh, choice. You need um, to start moving online. You need to see how you can solve stuff that you used to solve, but now in a different way. And uh, the good thing is that you can see like in the recent years, many companies that started to develop solutions and now um, people can just take advantage of those tools and start using them. And you see it in, in many aspects uh, in the property market, even auctions. Like you see like more and more like uh, online auctions and you had a great conversation with uh, uh, Oxpace uh, about their solution. And, uh, and this is great stuff for uh, property investors and landlords because they can consume information and, be, um, and get access to many things that it was very hard to, to, to get access before. And everything is now available uh, online. So in that aspect, I think that this is like the good side of, uh, uh, of the COVID period. So Avram, it's been really interesting because there's been quite a few articles in the media about the uptake of prop tech in the sector. And I think anybody that thinks that it's going to go um, back to how it was pre-COVID, I um, think that, you know, that they're they're uh, they're sadly mistaken. I think change um, is going to continue in our sector, and a lot of new ways of working are become are going to become embedded in the sector. And um, uh, I think you know if you're a kind of analog landlord that's still resisting that change, um, you know you you do need to uh, have a little bit of a wake up call. I think because not only that, tenants actually expect digital solutions they're of the age uh, where everything around their life is run in a digital fashion 
that they want to interact with digital platforms to you know log repairs or arrange viewings and those kind of things absolutely and this is like i think this is a side of the the customers of the landlord the tenants uh they are basically using today a lot of uh, digital tools and they expect expect to to get it um, as well from their uh, landlords and also in this area you can see many many um, uh, new tools that uh, as you mentioned you can uh, log uh, maintenance um, uh, um, issues uh, you can uh, initiate payments um, all the tenant referencing can be online today um, so yes definitely and in terms of you know like the articles that start like perhaps you know like imply that it might this situation might um you know go back i think that once uh you embrace the technology and once you understand the, the value you get from it from it and i can give you like an example from landlord's user like if you use to manage you use to manage uh, your uh, portfolio and all of your data in spreadsheets and you move everything to uh, a digital platform like landlord i think it's hard to um, you know come back to the old uh, behavior because basically you have everything now available from anywhere from any device um, you can get insights easily uh, you can do you know uh, calculations um, that uh, it's very hard to do um, if you need to like uh, to process the data so the the tools can do it for you um and of course like also the other aspect of analyzing your deals uh, getting the information about uh, for instance like like we provide like uh, on a, post, the, a given postcode and things like that to see like how your property is performing and uh, run what if scenarios things like that so um i think that once you start using it uh, these those kinds of tools um I think uh, you will continue to do it because you understand the value you get out of it. Well, I can actually concur on that with my landlord hat on ever and because uh, prior to landlord, as I've mentioned before, um, so for 16 years, I've been using a little spreadsheet created for me by Nick. And uh, sorry to say, Nick, he knows this. Uh, since I uh, put all my uh, portfolio details into Landlord, I've actually never looked at that spreadsheet again um, because I instantly saw how much easier it was. And I think one of the key things that has come through our, our interviews with our, our Landlord users is that everything is in one place. And yes, you, if you, as long as you've got access to the internet, you could be on a, on, you know, a beach in the Caribbean or you could be... Uh, hiking up a mountain and you could access uh, your portfolio details um, and I think the other really key thing to say about that is, is is if all your information is curated in one place in a very easily understandable form should something happen to you such as um, you know an accident or illness or god forbid uh, you know you die um, if you uh, had left your logins for landlord with um, you know your partner or your business partner they would be able to access your portfolio and, and wrestle it into control very very quickly um, and you know it's quite interesting because over the years we've had quite a few people come onto property tribes and say my partner died I had nothing to do with the property business I was suddenly left with all these properties I had no relationship with the tenants I didn't even know their names and then I had to take control of this portfolio so I think one of the key things to highlight um, that, that's come out of all of our interviews is that all your portfolio information is curated in one place and should something uh, you know bad happen to you you would be able uh, to let a, you know a, a preferred person uh, kind of take over your portfolio for you very very easily um, this is you know one of the main advantages of storing your information online um, and in landlord we uh, store and capture a lot of details of course depends on the user um, so yes it's it's a resource that can definitely help um, uh, transitioning of uh, uh, ownership and um, it's a good place you know 
to keep your uh, property details securely in the cloud, of course. Did you want to just give a quick um, little look at the kind of headlines that somebody who didn't know a portfolio at all, but was put in a situation where they had to uh, start taking it over and, and dealing with it, even if it's managed by lettings agents, all the letting agent details would be logged in there um, and how they could quickly grasp the key things that they needed to know about running that portfolio. Yes, yeah, sure. So, so in Landlord, uh, this is the main dashboard. Um, of course, you can see like the high level metrics, but if you go uh, into the details uh, and on the My Portfolio page, so this is basically the page you can store all the relevant information on each property. Um, and uh, let's, let's, let's uh, try with like an example, okay? I can go over a property row, click edit. Then in this sidebar, you have different sections of data. And uh, one of the positive things that we get from users on Landlord, about Landlord is that uh, the, the fields are not like mandatory fields. You can start with just typing a few details and, uh, and save the property. And then after that, you can tweak the data and add more information. Uh, so you can see like you have different sections. Of course, like the basic details of like the address, the purchase date, purchase price, what is the current value? Mm -hmm. You can use the on our like own calculator to calculate um, with the APR property data, what is the estimated to get some indication about the current property value of this um, a, a property. Um, it takes like a few seconds. You need, of course, like, to put more information about what is the, the internal area, uh, number of bedrooms, etc. cetera. Um, and of course the ownership, like if it's, is it like um, owned by the company? And if so, what is the name of the company? If it's owned by like as a private uh, a property, then you can mark it as a private one. Um, if it's currently tenant and we can also put the note. So this is like a free text you can put on each property. And this is great if you need to transition the property to write notes uh, to the person that is going to review this data. Mm -hmm. uh, the second field is the mortgage fields. So here you can put all the relevant data about your mortgage, uh, starting from uh, uh, the lender, the mortgage started, end date, what was the original mortgage balance, what is the current one, uh, the mortgage type, repayment method, the current rate, early redemption fees, a very important um, attribute, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I think just even knowing um who the lender is and what the mortgage number is for somebody coming into a, a portfolio sp uh, digital spreadsheet like this even you know just even simple things like the, the postcode of the property and the name of the tenant this all these things are going to help somebody um, if, if they're in that situation where they have to uh, you know look after a portfolio that they, they don't know anything about so um, it, it's really wonderful to have all of that uh, at, at your fingertips um, and I think you know we've got the rest of the the month ahead and we've got some fantastic contributors and what what I think so interesting Avaram is that every person that we've spoke spoken to has had a different way that they use technology um, they see different benefits that are applicable to them and their portfolio um, and it's amazing you know how incredibly personalized the whole experience is anyway because it's all your own data but also all the uh, benefits you get from it are um, you know it's almost like uh, they're, they're semantic to, to what you need um, you know as an individual in your situation yes definitely and you see that because of the <clears throat> the way we designed the platform that you can customize the data to your own needs. So first you don't need to, to, to enter data that you don't want to keep or don't want to, to, to store. Um, and uh, you see like there are many, many pieces of information you can keep on each property, uh, including your like, who are like your suppliers for gas, for electric, electric water, uh, broadband, etc. Um, some information that insurance companies will want to see, uh, especially I think in HMOs, like if you have a um, fire alarm, uh, when it was like the last test date, where it's going to be like the next test date, things like that. 
And of course, the other important things like your uh, landlord insurance data and due date, um, gas safety certificate due dates, electrical check, EICR, and as you mentioned, the tenants data uh, that we have like a dedicated page, of course, to manage your tenants. Mm -hmm. So all, all, all of that, and as, as you said, there are users that use it, each user, and we had like uh, several interviews that um, uh, PT uh, uh, published uh, during this month that it was very interesting to see like landlord users that each one of them used like different aspect of the platform. Mm -hmm. um, and the good thing is that you can cast it. So this is like the main table. You can customize the columns and you have like different views. So you have the default view, but you can go to the performance view and see just, you know, um, uh, the metrics about each property in terms of um, performance, you know, in terms of what was your um, last 12 months cash on cash and that cash flow and also some predictions according to assumptions that you can put for the long term. Uh, but you can also define your own views. So um, if you want just like to see the due dates of each property, so you can switch to this view and, and then you can see like which properties basically you need uh, to put uh, uh, more uh, due dates. Uh, but you can also create any view, select the columns you want to keep in this view and then uh, you can review this data in uh, one click. Uh, you can see your properties on a map and uh, and many, many other like customization you can do in order uh, uh, basically to customize the platform to your own uh, needs. Yeah. And for property investors, active active investors, you can also store your uh, prospect properties. So you can, by filtering out the, the existing property, you can see just the list of your prospect properties. And uh, in one click, you can go to the deal analyzer and start analyzing uh, the prospect properties uh, in terms of uh, the first year uh, performance and the long-term metrics. And you can uh, drill down to a prospect report to see um, the breakdown of the development of uh, your investment over the years. Yeah, well, we have a separate um, webinar on the yeah. landlord deal analyzer, um, and I will put that uh, in the footer of this thread. Um, but I think, I think I'm just going to close this out everyone by saying that um, there's an enormous amount of uncertainty around for landlords um, and I think one thing that we can actually be certain of is that the use of digital tools will help landlords navigate this pandemic whether it be risk mitigation compliance validation of their decisions um, you know there's so many reasons to adopt digital technology. So um, if anybody's watching this who wants to know more, um, then, you know, Lendlord is a free to use platform. Uh, just pop across to landlord.io. And there is a chat bot on there, which is manned by Avram and his team. Uh, so you can get your questions asked, answered there. You can get them uh, answered on property tribes. Um, so lots of ways for you to interact um, with Lendlord. And um, we've, as I said at the beginning, we're about halfway through the month, Avram. We've got some really uh, incredible guests still to come. So um, this month is far from over. Yes, for sure. Stay tuned. Indeed. So um, thank you for watching today's instalment. Beneath the video, you can see links to all the previous instalments. And one of the most popular ones has been carry your portfolio in your pocket, because that's essentially what you're doing uh, with Lendlord software, because it's obviously all accessed um, via your smartphone. So um, do have a look through the previous episodes, see what uh, other landlords are saying about the software and how they're finding that it benefits them. It really has been been a most interesting uh, collaboration of content um, between everybody that's been involved so um, if you're watching this on YouTube please do um, subscribe to our YouTube channels Lendlord and Property Tribes uh, like the video if you did and smash the notifications bell um, and we'll see you tomorrow for the next installment see you there thank you Vanessa <laughs>